Welcome to this session where we will set up our workspace and organization folders in our new custom configuration. So on the W drive, I have created this folder CE configuration. That folder is currently empty, but that's where we're going to store the necessary folders for the configuration, workspace folders, organization folders, and work set folders. So I'm going to start with the organization folders. Now the organization folders are a set of standards that apply to the MicroStation platform software. Things like print drivers, level libraries, text and dimension styles, and so forth. So in the delivered configuration, which is on the C drive under the Program Data Bentley Open Buildings Connect Edition configuration folder, there is an organization folder. And if I were to open that up, you can see there's a number of different folders for things like cell libraries and DGN libs and plot configurations. Now these folders are currently all empty. They're meant as a place to store these types of standards as they are created for your organization. All we're going to do is copy this set of folders and put it into our custom configuration. So I'm going to go back up one level. I'm going to select the entire folder. I'll do a copy and then I'm going to come over to my CE configuration and paste. And so now I have an organization folder. I have the appropriate subfolders and this standards.config makes sure that the software is configured to look in those folders for my company organization standards when I am using this custom configuration on the network. Now the second folder we need is a workspace folder. You can see over here we have workspaces here and there's some delivered workspaces that come with Open Buildings Designer. We're going to create our own workspace folder and our own workspace but we're going to do it through the software to make sure it is configured on our network configuration. So I'll go ahead and start up Open Building Designer. So this first pull down here is the workspace. We're going to select a workspace. And you can see here that we do deliver this example configuration, which is building examples, but we want to create our own workspace. So we're going to select the create workspace. So I'm going to give this workspace a name. Now I want to make this my company standard workspace. So I'm just going to use XYZ as the company initials and then under bar and workspace. We can give it a description such as company default workspace. And notice it is automatically going to be set up in our CE configuration folder that we have already created. So I'm going to select OK. And we can see we now have this XYZ workspace. If I pull that down, you'll see I still have the delivered examples, but I also now have my custom configuration and I have the XYZ workspace. So we have that set up. I'm going to go ahead at this point and close Open Buildings Designer. And we'll go back and look at those folders and see exactly what was set up. You can see now on my W drive under the CE configuration folder, there is a workspaces folder, just like I have over here on the delivered configuration. And if I open that up, I have this XYZ workspace. There's an XYC config that goes along with that. And if I open up this folder, it's created a number of subfolders, which includes the standards. So these would be the workspace standards. Now these are the standards that belong to building designers, such as data group catalogs, family and part system, uh, and, and again, cells and DGN libs that apply to Open Buildings Designer. There's also this work sets folder. So the work sets are the individual projects and those could be stored under this folder. And we will take a look in the next session at how we go ahead and set up the work sets or at least a template to use for the work sets. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.